Hey everybody, I am back with the G.I. Joe uh, deck building game. Where is the box? Up? There's the box. The G.I. Joe deck building game. Um, it is a game for... It is a game for one to uh, four players. Uh, I've been playing it a few times. Getting into it some more. And uh, with that... Um, I, I need to put it somewhere else. I can put it right there. That's better. Um, so, game for one to four players. Uh, I didn't do so well earlier today. I'm going to play the mission that I haven't played yet. Uh, but even with each mission, you can uh, change out some of the cards that are in it. And they're random. So we already have our, our first mission card here, the story mission. And I'll read that in a second. Um, but feel free to ask questions. And I'll explain what's going on in the game. Um, and you start with a hand of, of 10 cards, including one leader. I have Lady J. And one, two, three, four, five. And you take two turns when you're playing solo. And um, let's just get right into the game again. Uh, <clears throat> so you have dice. You have a market. That's this market here. And the cost is in the upper left-hand corner. The stars are how much you get to re recruit them for. So, like, here I have four recruit, so I could purchase something like the Smart Missile. Um, you're going up against missions. There's story missions. There are um, side missions. There are uh, Cobra Battalions and Cobra Troopers who all count as side missions of sorts. And all those things are going on. <clears throat> and uh, you can also purchase, like, service rifles, which are kind of like the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And uh, Legendary, you have... The Cobra Troopers, which are kind of like um, wounds in Legendary and, and uh, other things that get in the way of filling of this threat track. That's basically it. I'm going to start playing, but if you have any questions, feel uh, feel free to ask me about what I'm doing. Um, I'm more than open to that. more than open to uh, stopping and chatting. Hopefully I don't lose my place. Uh, there's this tracker that helps me keep track of where I'm at in my turn. So hopefully I remember to, remember to use that properly. But we'll go ahead and just get started. Um, you have transports. The vamp never gets used up. It's like you have millions of these like Jeep type things. Um, other transports go into your hangar and then you use them and then they have to get refueled, and which means they go to your discard and then you have to wait to see them again. But um, I did draw my my leader there, Lady J. So let's take a look at Lady Lady J, uh, so we can get an idea of what's going on with the card and. So again, she has a uh, zero recruit cost, and actually when you're playing solo, you have all the leaders in the deck here, but she has a re zero recruit cost, and then she gives you one recruit. But if you have six, you can go ahead and get her upgraded card, and just like a normal card that you recruit, it goes on top of your uh, pile for cards that you've recruited. So she has a tech ability, and then when you upgrade her, she gives you... Uh, tech and tracker and that's part of the reason I picked her is because our first mission that we have here is a tech related mission. We'll go ahead and look back at that one. It says <clears throat> uh, Decode Cobra's secret message story mission and group mission so when you're playing co-op you can add as long as your transport has room you can add and help people out uh, but I'm playing solo obviously so Joe jo has intercepted an encoded message from Cobra Commander. What secret scheme has this Viper devised this time? At the end of each player's turn, they gain one Cobra Trooper. So that's that junk that's going to be going into my deck. And then um, if I succeed, I get to lower the threat and draw a card. And then if I fail, because so, when you up, go up against these missions, you either succeed or you fail, and then they're over, and that's it. Uh, when you fail, the threat goes up one and shuffle three random act three cards into the complication deck that's not that's not good okay so that's adding worse complications um and, and all sorts of things okay so we're gonna go ahead and play um i don't think i can go against any side missions but i have this card that i do like as a starter card it's uh diffuse if you defeat a side mission you lower the threat by one so that's a three starter joes and lady J. Um, her special ability right now and ongoing is if there's a utility in play on this mission, plus one wild skill or draw a card. Wild skill is the thing that any Joe uh, gives, and Joe is just the name for the characters, male or female. Um, just the 
you, you get at least one wild skill and that's a die to roll uh, if you don't have the particular kind of skill that's called for on it or draw a card. So I don't have a uh, utility in play. So I just have my four recruit and like most deck builders, I'm gonna start going to start buying some cards and building my deck out. So I want tech or recon right now to go up against this. And, <clears throat> uh, but and eventually I want a good, well-rounded deck. Uh, mainframe has four tech. So I'm gonna recruit mainframe and then mainframe is just gonna go on top of my recruit deck. And flip that card over uh, immediately. And actually, technically, uh, I didn't have to use all these. So I won't use Lady J. I'm going to set her to decide. Uh, and that's what this reserve is for in the uh, one, two player games because it only cost me three recruits. So I'm going to set her to the side. He will go on top of my, uh, my deck. And five cards, and then I get the second part of my turn. And there's mainframe, and then I have three more starter Joes, and the card I hate the most in the, in the starter deck, and that's comms. Uh, because in and, and multiplayer, it might be kind of useful, but right now it's not. It's discard one uncovered card from the lineup and replace it, or target teammate with three or fewer cards in hand, draws one card. Uh, even then, it's not that useful. So. Uh, comms, I guess it could be when you're going on missions, but right now it's not that useful. So it's there. But I have now five recruit because of mainframe. I don't want to go up against this mission yet, so I'm just going to recruit some more. And then I will have to add a Cobra Trooper to my discard. So five recruit. Um, he's got re recon and he costs five, so I'm going to take Tunnel Wrap. And he goes on top on my deck. Let's see what else comes out. We also get a Cobra Trooper to go on top of the deck. Uh, on this card, sorry. Um, and then we... Lady J could have come to my hand. I'm going to put her back in the reserve again, though. And just take Tunnel Rat. Shuffle up my deck. And hopefully I get a good pull of stuff. But we'll see. And one, two, three more cards. And there we go. Okay, so now I have, so now it's starting to get a little bit more interesting already. Um, because now I have Tunnel Rat. I do have Lady J. Uh, she has tech. And remember, we're going with tech and recon on this mission. So uh, two tech, two recon, and four tech if we go ahead and do the mission. So I'm going to add them to the vamp. So that gives me a total of... Uh, eight dice that I'm gonna get. And dice are supposed to be unlimited. So even if I run out, I can add dice to it. So um, that's eight dice. I have something that lets me reroll, and I have another starter Joe that I will add to the mission. Just add, lets me add one more. So I will, they're all going, so they're on the vamp. I just leave my vamp right in here next to the hangar because it's unlimited uses. So they're gonna go and we'll roll. And oh, the other thing I forgot to say is there's this uh, battleship symbol here, but underneath that is a complication. I should have had one face down complication, so we'll do that and find out. And that raises my threat by one. We should have also raised my threat one at the end of my first turn, so two is where it should be as we go on this. All right, so good. We have two, four, six, seven hits, and technically we get to roll one more because of that Joe, we'll go ahead and roll it. He missed anyways. So four, four misses and seven hits, which is really good actually. And uh, I can reroll, why not? Just to intimidate, yes, nice, okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine hits. We definitely succeeded. So that just goes underneath this success token up here and we get to lower the threat by one and I get to draw a card. So we lower the threat one, I get to draw a card. Because remember my turn is over these. Um, Cards stay out for recruiting, so we'll just kind of set them to the side, but they're off the vamp. Uh, this Cobra Trooper is here now too, that's the card I drew, I already used this card. And just for funsies, I'm going to try to take this one Joe uh, to attack the Cobra Trooper, maybe I can remove it from my deck, otherwise it's just filler that gets in the way. So I'll roll one, and I got one hit, which is all I need to vanquish the Cobra, Cobra Trooper. 
that complication's gone too. But that uh, Cobra Trooper's gone. We have to bring this out and two complications. This one has a plane on it. And I'll read that for you. And then we will do some recruiting with uh, all the recruiting points we have. All right. This one says, uh, in uh, <clears throat> find the location of the hidden battalion. And it's, again, a story mission, group mission, like all these are. Cobra plans to steal supplies from a humanitarian organization in Afghanistan. The Joes need to find where they are hiding and fast. At the end of each round, draw one complication. So, um, I forgot to flip this last time. We're on the, only on the first part of my turn. So, um. At the end of each round, draw one complication, success, we uh, lower the threat by one and draw a card, failure, add one to the threat, add two Cobra Battalions to the lineup, we haven't talked about those, but what those do is they block your market cards, and if uh, you're supposed to put your sixth one out, you lose the game, uh, which is what happened to me earlier today. Okay, so that's the first half of my turn, I'm going to turn this over so that we know we're going in the second half of the turn, but I'm going to go ahead and recruit with one, two, three, four, five, seven. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to upgrade Lady Jane, so I just discard this, and get her upgraded card. That'll go on top of my draw deck, and I have one recruit point left. Can't do anything with that, except I could get Snake Eyes, so I'm gonna get Snake Eyes. Um, and he will also go on top of my draw deck, and then those go away, and we're at the second part of my turn. And three, four, five. Let's see if we can do anything interesting. All right, cool. So we have uh, two GI Joes, just regular uh, ones. And think on successful missions, I, I don't think I want to do this yet, but as I get more Joes, when you have a successful mission and one of these is on it, you can just retire them out of the game, discard them, and they don't uh, fill up your deck anymore, which is nice. Um, so I have two of those. We have Snake Eyes, and this new mission needs Recon and Vehicles. So, I don't have anything that gives me that right now. So we, we need to start looking for that. So here's Recon and Vehicles on Deep Six, and on Barbecue he has Vehicles too. So we're just gonna do some recruiting. Um, this one says target player puts one card from their discard pile into their hand. That's pretty nice too, sometimes. But I wish the recruit was higher, it's only one. Um, yeah, okay, so we have five recruit. I'm just going to go ahead and recruit deep six. And in case we have something bad happen, I'm going to keep the diffuse uh, off to the side in my re uh, reserve. And it's the end of my turn. So at the end of my turn, I'll remember a couple things happen. The threat goes up. Forgot to do that the very first time. And draw another complication. That's the bad part about not dealing with this mission is it's going to have a bunch of complications when we go to deal with it. So that happened. Nothing else happens right now. And we're back to the beginning of my turn. Draw four. Shuffle. And see what else we have. I didn't have a lot of G.I. Joes, but I had a few and rarely got to watch the show growing up. So, But it was uh, it was fun. We mainly just played in the dirt and like uh, when it snowed out, we would make like tunnels for our G.I. Joes to go through and stuff. Um, okay, so new turn, beginning of the turn. I can pick this up or I can put it back again. We have Snake Eyes, do I have enough to upgrade them? No, because I only have five recruit there and neither of these are helpful with that. This is just going to be junk as usual. I, I really don't like that comms starter card, <laughs> but that's me. Um, yeah, let's see, one, yeah, because we all have four. We would only get, let's see, five, six, seven. I guess we would get eight to go on this mission, but we have three complications. I'd rather have better. So I'm just going to use all five recruit and not do that. I'm going to get, 
Ace because Ace has a um, a plane symbol here. That means that we uh, matches the mission, so that would give us an additional dice. So Ace is going to, you know, what we're gonna actually. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put deep six over here. So that means we only have three recruit, but that's enough still to get Ace. So we're gonna get Ace, who goes on top of our draw pile. Get rid of the rest of those. Do that. And then uh, Ace is there, Deep Six is there, another GI. Come on, let's see uh, somebody else up there. Well, there's Mainframe, but he only gives Tech, not Recon. Four and five. So we could go on this mission. We would get um, five and six, seven, eight with Ace and Deep Six. Eight, if we did that. Nine, ten, because we always get the one. Wild, even if uh, none of their skills match. So ten and a reroll. Let's let's risk it. Let's try it. Why not? Ten and a reroll. Uh, you gotta fail sometimes, right? So ten and a reroll. Uh, we have four Joes going on this mission. We have to find out what these complications are. And we are on the second half of the turn, so I should turn that over. Story mission: discard one Joe from the mission. That is junky. Uh, obviously, we're gonna discard this. Um. You know what, we're going to discard Mainframe because if we win this, I think I'm going to start getting rid of the GIs. So Mainframe is getting discarded, so we still get uh, 5, 7, 8, 9 dice. So that's our first complication, is discarding Mainframe. And then, we haven't seen these yet, but these are super annoying uh, little missions that get in the way of what we want to do. And this one is a, um, a, a Precision Strike, and this one's called Disrupt the Drone drone strike and this side mission basically you have to deal with it because if you don't it's bad at the end of your next turn fail the current story mission and discard this card so this goes down here it's not talking about what's going to happen here but the next one if we don't deal with this then this will just go away as a failure and then the story mission has an additional difficulty right now is that that last thing is so we have to get nine successes we have uh five sorry five successes we're rolling nine that definitely made it harder, but we do have one reroll. So hopefully, hopefully we get this. Uh, two, four, five, six. We have been able to get. I'm gonna reroll the one for fun, for funsies, and there we go. We got another two. So the dice are with us tonight, uh, which is a success, which means that we get to lower our threat again, and I get to draw a card, and it's just a GI starter. But that means it adds to our recruit, uh, especially because this one is going out of the game. So one, two, uh, three, four, recruit. And let's look at what our next mission is before we decide what we're going to recruit. Well, and we have this one to worry about, which needs recon and stealth. And he doesn't have that, so... Um, okay, so this goes to our successes, and we get the new one, which is kind of the end, the kind of the capstone of the first third of it. So this one says, No Joes. And No Joes says, uh, It can't be. The U.S. government is calling for the official termination of the G.I. Joe project. The Joes must act, act fast to prove their mettle. M-E-T-T-L-E. Um, place Dr. Mindbender into play. At the end of each round, the threat's going to go up one. When we succeed, target player draws two cards and return Dr. Mindbender to the officer stack. We can use any skill on it, though. That's pretty cool. On failure, the threat goes up two, and this mission remains in play. Okay, so we can use any skill. That's nice. Um, but we need recon and stealth on here, remember. So it is the end of the turn. This is going to go up one. Uh, and one because of this, and we have to put out uh, Dr. Mindbender. All right, and Dr. Mindbender, the th so the threat went up too. I should go back and show you that. I, I did put up the threat two there uh, for the end of the round. Um, but Dr. Mindbender, of course, he's the last one, and he has all this electricity. He needs tech to defeat him. At the start of a group mission, discard the top card of the main deck 
If it's a Joe, this mission has a plus two difficulty. So whenever we start anything that has the keyword group mission like this one here, then we are gonna have to do that if he's not defeated first. So we might wanna deal with him first. And then the other thing is to make sure we have a complication that's out here. There's no affinity symbol for like a tank or a plane or a battleship. So that's unfortunate, but it is a fairly easy one to defeat otherwise. So let's see what we can do. Okay, so back to the beginning of, of a turn. Oh. oh, I did have four recruit, that's right. Um, I mean, this one is good. It's the drone strike, and it lets you turn their uh, high skill into wild, which means it counts as counts for anything that you need it to count for. So that's that's good. <clears throat> so I'm taking that and putting that on. So we're gonna have that one and four more cards. Four more cards means we aren't going to be shuffling right now. Um, okay. This is this is a decent hand because we have two basic Joes, Tunnel Rat, Lady J, and two. So we could just take all of them, take this out. Um, or we could just do Lady J and two of them. Or we could do Lady J and one of them and Tunnel Rat and one of them. If we do this, so this needs Recon or Stealth. He's got Recon, so we can put... Um, we're gonna, he's going on this mission to take out this Drone Strike, for sure. That's, that's happening. And, um... I'm going to play the, the drone strike on the drone strike against the drone strike because that means that now we get five just from him and he's going to have another Joe go with him on the mission to get a total of six to try to finish this so that we don't have to worry about that. So we have one, two, and three that we rolled, uh, which means that we took out the, we disrupted the drone strike or their disruption of it. That's gone. That's good. We don't have to worry about that now. And um, we have five recruit already. We could try to go after Dr. Mindbender. There's nothing that would hurt us, uh, especially since Lady J has tech. So we're, yeah, why not? We're going to take Lady J and this GI and roll four. I mean, we might not succeed, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, let's try. Well, we definitely didn't succeed. We only got one success. That's more typical of what happens uh, in this game a lot of times for me. So that's okay. Um, at least we tried. Uh, was that a, the drone strike wasn't a group? No, it was a side mission. Okay. Um, so. Okay, so we have five, seven, eight recruit. Um. Let's see here. This one lets me defeat Cobra Battalions, which is very nice once we start getting into the yellow. So I'm going to take that because it lets me just defeat them without going on a mission. And then all in, ignore the results, die roll, reroll everything. Hmm. Change ones to twos. If you defeat a Cobra Battalion, this turn draw a card. Put one card from your discard into their hand. Um, so this this goes in, in sorry into my draw. Um, I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste that much uh, recruit power. So I think what I will take is. That's kind of silly, maybe. Although it could be very important. So I'm going to take it. So I'm, yeah, I have those two. And then, all right, nothing else I can do is go to my discard. And then we go to the second part of my turn. And remember, I recruited those. So, shuffle. And see what happens next. Three. 
All right. And there's Lady J again. Cool. And a drone strike. So now, now we could do this. So Lady J and this drone strike on Dr. Mindbender. And uh, and we have a reroll if we need it. So we'll go ahead and try. This time we get six dice to roll because of the drone strike. So hopefully we can take out Dr. Mindbender. And there are four hits right there. Four hits. Dr. Mindbender is gone. And we don't need to reroll. So now we just have um, some more recruiting. Three, five, seven. Uh, although I could save one of these cards if I need to. You know what? I am gonna, I'm going to save this one, and I have six recruit. And with that six recruit, I'm going to take uh, Beachhead, put them on top of my stuff, and low light for sure. There's that worked out really well. Um, now that they are there, now we have to do this stuff. So we have to raise this twice, which means until we get this back down on the green, uh, Cobra Battalion is going to come out and cover up cards and. Uh, provide another form of threat that we have to deal with. So, yeah, not good. And we're back to the beginning of a turn. Okay. And I could um, grab this card from and use it to grab that card from my discard pile. And maybe, I don't know what I want to grab from my discard pile. We'll see. Um, well, we could send four Joes if we had. Yeah, you know what? Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab this Smart Missile. And I'm going to grab Lady J back out of my discard pile. And so that is played. We still have it for the recruit. But we have Lady J and... What, is there anything that they all have together? There's Stealth, there's Tracker. If we did Tracker, okay, so Lady J, J and Low Light, that would put six of a single skill for Tracker, and then we could just play this uh, Starter Joe, and this, uh, we could play, let's play Ace on there, and then that way we have um, eight against three. Hopefully that's enough. Let's find out as we go up against this complication first. At the end of your turn, the um, threat's going to go up an extra one. So if we deal with that, that won't happen. So first, though, we're on this mission, and we have eight die. So let's see how that goes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And four misses. So we defeated this mission, and I get to draw two cards. We already returned Dr. Mindbender to the officer stack, so I draw two cards. Let's go down here for a recruit. This goes up here, and uh, actually, we're not even done with our turn yet, so this comes out here. But I'm going to deal with this one. This one has a tank symbol on it. We'll go ahead and read it. And one complication. It says, an unlikely ally. Uh, why would Destro want to help the G.I. Joes? With Cobra inching ever closer to total world domination, they'll need all the help they can get. At the end of each player's turn, they gain one Cobra Trooper. If uh, we're in the green threat... This mission has plus two difficulty. If we're in the yellow, it has plus one difficulty. So it has a difficulty of five. And I'll just put a token on there to remind us of that. Um, remove one threat and Destro from the game completely. If we uh, win this one, that's nice. And if we fail, place Baroness into play and raise this threat by two. We need martial arts and explosives on this one. Okay, so that's interesting. 
Um, do we have some cards in hand? And we have this uh, that we have to worry about if we don't deal with it. So I'm going to deal with it now. We're going to go ahead and uh, explosives or tracker. None of these people have that. But we only need one to succeed. So they're all going to go on this. Uh, and none of them have a tank either. So this needs a tank. Oh, um, well, we're just going to try it. Four, four dice. And we got it. There we go. Three hits. And so that complication is dealt with. We don't have to raise the threat from that. Uh, and then we go to the second part of our turn. I mean, it feels insane that I had that many cards in hand. Um, but I did. So two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight. And 10, 11. So with um, six of that, I'm gonna upgrade Snake Eyes right now. Put that on the top. Snake Eyes, promoted leader. Okay. And then I, I have five more recruit, five more recruit. I'm going to uh, take Torpedo. And because I think Torpedo has explosives. Oh no. Just stealth and martial arts. Uh, okay, yeah. And Duke's here, so I'll also recruit Duke because that's a free recruit. And Shipwreck and Polly are here, cool. All right, so we get five, five new cards. And now we have more things to deal with. We have this Cobra Baton we can deal with. We can deal with the... Uh, thing up here but that is a a five threat uh to go against so let's see what we have duke gives us recon we need martial arts and explosives i don't think i have well i have three explosives and i have three martial arts um so i could do this six actually here we go this is nine with torpedo nine because martial arts and explosives because uh, that's an and, I can pick both. So martial arts, explosives, nine with these three Joes on the mission, and nine. And I'll play Duke here, and I can put a GI from my discard pile into my hand. I will put Lady J, I think, back into my hand. Is that who I want? Uh... Yeah, we'll put Lady J back in my hand because maybe we can deal with this Cobra Battalion too. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we have 9, 10. If Snake Eye defeats a side mission, target player. Okay, this is not. We're not in red. We're not on a side mission. Uh, and we are not using a C transport. Okay, so 10 dice. So we'll roll with 10. Find out what this complication is. It is. Add one Cobra Battalion to the leftmost uncovered card in the lineup and draw another complication and put it in effect. Okay. Oh, we're still on one cards. We should have, uh, I think we should have gone to two cards. No, we're just going to go to two cards right now. <clears throat> um, that is one thing I wish we were a little bit clearer in the rulebook. It doesn't say exactly like when you put out uh, the one, two, threes. I'm guessing that they should go with the, the twos, but um, there's a two right here, and this is a two complication. But anyways, okay. Detected, they found us. Add one covered battalion to the leftmost uncovered card, and draw and resolve another complication. That's not cool. Okay, so that is out there. And let's draw another one and resolve it. Uh, put Storm Shadow into play. Okay, all right. Well, this just got messier. Uh, Storm Shadow, where are you? Oh, there. Storm Shadow. It fell off when I picked up the officer's deck. Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow says uh, it takes five of any one skill to defeat. And this is a group mission, too. Not all of the officers are. Assign Storm Shadow to a player as a side mission. At the end of your turn, you get two additional threat. Wow. Okay, that's gonna be that's gonna be a thing. 
Okay, so let's finish this. We have a threat of five, remember? So um, we roll our 10. And let's see what happens. Wow, there it is. There's the awful, awful rolls. Okay, that happens sometimes. So I only got two successes. Uh, we failed, so this is bad because we're going to raise the threat one, two, and we have to put bareness into play. And so here's bareness. And bareness says. Story missions must be started by a leader, and she takes stealth and tracker to. And now we have Zartan in disguise, so we're gonna have to add two complications. Uh, the master of deception himself, Zartan, has been behind the political smears this whole time. The Joes need to track him down to find the next big target. Place Zartan into play at the end of the round, get an additional threat, success, take the threat down to two, takes tracker and marksman. And then draw one complication for each player in the game if you fail. So no more failures. That was awful. Um, so we already did the threat over here that was from that one. Uh, that that was 10, 10 dice and we only got two successes. That was sad. Well, let's see if we can take Lady J and... Go defeat this uh, Storm Shadow here. Um, nearly impossible, but we're going to try anyways. Um, because if not, we're going to get two threat. So we're going to do that. Uh, and threat's about to go up at the end of the turn. So let's go ahead and try. So we get four dice. You never know. Dice might suddenly be in the favor. And we got two successes. Nope, not in our favor. So we're going to get plus two threat from that, two, and one threat from just ending the round. We are already in the red. That's awful. Uh, but it happens. This is on background. And recruit points of three, four, uh, six, eight, ten recruit points. 10 recruit points, but the problem is these Cobra Battalions have come out. Uh, I really should have just gone against one of these and taken one of those off, but oh well. Um, let's take ship, Shipwreck. Shipwreck and Cover Girl. Nice. Okay. Um, but that's all I can do, and it's a new round. Let's see what happens. All right, Storm Shadow is still here. Uh, that's really bad. Um, oh, and this should have happened too. So we're only one threat away from losing the game. I have to defeat this one. Uh, and then that would let me reduce the threat. So let's start with that. We're going to put... Cover Girl and Shipwreck, which gives me an additional wild skill. So that's a total of, um, let's see, five, six, and a GI and another GI, seven, eight. So we have eight. We need five hits, otherwise, we lose. So, because of what he's going to do one, two, three, four. That means that we have lost the game no matter what because he's going to raise the threat to... Well, I mean, we'll, we'll see. We'll play it out. Um, but we lost. More than likely. Um, and we didn't get to lower the threat because of that. So we're going to save this just to see if we can try again. And let's see. Can we recruit anything good? One, two, cover girl. Uh, three, four, five, six. Yes, we can get Spirit and Freedom. Let's try. Okay, let's try. The, the game is not over yet, but likely. Likely is. Um, one, two. And one, two. And let's see what happens. See what happens. This is...
Um, yeah, this was just brutal with both of those coming out. That was just so much threat. So much threat. So quickly. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And let's see what happens. Well, we could try this. The, the, the threat would go down by two if we did that. So, and this has tracker and marksman, which would give us five, six. <gasps> Lady J is here, so nine. Well, okay, that, that's actually what we're going to do. Uh, oh, no. Oh, because he's going to raise it, too, also. Okay. Oh, man. Um, we go on two, and then he raises it, too, and then we get one. At the, we're going to lose unless we do this one, because this one is the only one that would let us use our card, diffuse card, to bring it down three. Our third just got so high. But we have, like, the perfect hand to try to take out Zartan. Oh, man, that's awful. Okay, so we're going to use the tracker, because that'll give us three, six, nine, ten dice. Ten dice to try to defeat Storm Shadow. Yeah, ten dice, so we'll try uh, roll eight and one, two, oh, three, four, and that was eight dice. So we get to reroll two of them that were misses. Um, and hopefully, get one hit. There it is. There it is. We defeated Storm Shadow. That took way too long. Um, oh, and we would have gotten one more wild skill. So let's roll it just for fun uh, because of Low Light's ability. So we definitely got rid of Storm Shadow. That's nice. Um, oh, this gave us plus one hit. For, so we, we got rid of Storm Shadow. And that happened. And because of that, we get to play Diffuse, which lets us take the threat down one. I think we lose no matter what. Because, yeah, it was a no-win situation. Because Zartan's going to raise the threat one. Yeah, we had to have we had to beat Storm Shadow on the first go, and we didn't. So that that's the game because we're gonna raise the threat one for the turn. We're gonna raise with the threat one for Zartan, and then the threat is at the top. That is it. We have lost the game because Zartan and Storm Shadow just tore us apart. That's the GI Joe deck building game. Um, let me know what you think of it. Do you have a favorite Joe? Do you have a favorite card that you've seen? Um, I just wish the rule book were, were better, but uh, it, it's a pretty fun game to play. Let me know if you have any thoughts on it, or if you watch this later on, you have any thoughts and I missed something, or I took a double turn or something. That's totally possible. I think I was going to lose either way this time. Uh, just It was stacked against me, and sometimes this, this game, especially if you get bad rolls, you're just you're out. That's, that's all there is to it. Fun, chunky dice, though. Uh, G.I. Joe deck building game by T.C. Petty III. Thanks for watching. Happy gaming. Catch you later.